pretty young woman. Hezka, hezka, mladá žena. Hezka. Dobrá holka. Dobrá, good. Holka. Dobrá. Žen. Žena. Dobrá žena. Hezká mladá žena. Hezká. Hezká mladá žena. Good. A pretty young woman, I think. Žena. And it's interesting that the agreement suffix on the adjective is a long vowel a, ah, but the noun itself has a short vowel. Good. Dobra. Mlada frio. Mlada žena. Mlada holka. It's long on the adjective, holka, short on the noun. Uh, dobra holka. So, welcome back to Lango Institute. I'm your verb ally. Today we're starting with some Czech language from Eastern, Central Eastern Europe. Let's see. Let me draw your attention to our website. Here's the main page. This tab in the top right is also showing our website, the, namely the covers of the books that we've put out so far. They are for English-speaking learners of Korean. Here's the first one, Some Fun, and The Korean Peninsula was our second one. They both came out last year. Please check them out. And we've got a new session coming up a week, starting a week from today, a nine-week session. Uh, let me mention the languages we teach. They are, aside from English, Spanish, Portuguese, French, Italian. We also have a guy who's, who teaches Catalan, though I don't think we've offered it formally. But get in touch with us. Uh, German. What else we got? Japanese, Korean, Chinese, Basta. Those guys. So you can find out more stuff about that here at langoinstitute.com and you can find us on Twitter and so on. And all the social media, we're there too. Okay, I'm going to keep my chat open, try to keep an eye on it. Let me know if you have any questions about anything. What I'm doing on this channel is showing you how easy and fun it is to learn multiple lingu languages on Duolingo. Here's all the ones that I have started now. So I want you to follow along and have fun, and then try it out for yourself. See how you do with Duolingo learning. We're looking at feminine words and phrases in the Czech language now. Old. St oh yeah, stara. Velka is my guess. Vich. Vich is a thing. Stara vich. Old thing. Okay, especially things that I get wrong, I like to hold on to so I can review them later. Old thing is the meaning and it's adjective noun and the gender is we'll put grammatical information after that. F for feminine gender, singular, because it's just one thing, not multiple. Yina ulice. 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 Street. Yina. Yina. Different street. You know, do I have a mnemonic for that? Don't know. Nice thing. So Viet was it? And for nice, Hezka. Hezka Vietch. So V modified E with the V shape mark. Modified C oh, with the same mark. Vietch, right? Vietz. Plain C is a tz sound like in pizza. Skavitz. What this accent mark shows is that the vowel is pronounced long. 
two beats on about. Spadnanot. Let's switch over. Spadnanot. Spadna. Hear the long vowel sound at the end. Notes. Notes. Bad night. Spadna. Old street. Old was stara and ulitze. Stara. Okay, like an old star will be a good mnemonic. Star is the stem, a is the suffix. And then u li tse. There we have the c tse sound. Spatnavietz. Spatnavietz. Sh. Spatna. One letter will do. Vietz. V modified E and a C. Bad thing. But not bad. Different street. Yina. Ulitze. Old thing. Stara Vietz. Here's number two. So these, this is pretty good so far, this course. Uh, it's all about teaching us not just vocabulary, but showing us phrases to show how the adjectives agree with the noun, which teaches us what the gender of the noun is. It can be tricky to discover otherwise. And here, this rare in the dueling of courses, they're clearly labeled, these genders, grammatical genders, masculine, feminine, and neuter. In other languages, it's just not mentioned early on. You're kind of left to fend for yourself. They do, of course, have hints as well, like if you click here, or tips, but I'm trying to learn as much as I can just from what I can glean, just using my wits. All right, let's finish up the feminine one, maybe switch to a different language. Old is stara, love is going to be lub, no. Is it vino or laska? Laska, love. Ulitze. Ta could be a pointing word. That. Ta. That street. That. Ta. New. Nova. Mm -hmm. Vietz. Nova. V modified. E and a C. Velka holka. Velka holka. Velka holka. Holka's girl. Vilka, big. So, stem ends with the K. A ah, is a suffix. Little woman. That's little again. Woman is Jenna. Little Mala Jena 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 Mala Jena Jena Mala Jena Jena Different Mala Young Jena Modified letter C makes it a Je Jena Another little woman Not young but little Mala Little Nova Lada was it? Laska. Your long vowel in the stem. Nova Laska. Right, let's see, I'm doing in the league real quick. Whoa, way ahead of me there. At four fifteen. Let's see what we can we can close that distance today. Oh, happy Ides of March, everyone. Little Joffier. Mala Joffier. This would be a person's name. The second word. Zvláštní žena. Zvláštní. Zvláštní. Hmm. Nice cluster, Z-V-L, before we get to a vowel. And then another cluster in the same word, Shna. And what we Zvláštní. Strange woman. Strange cluster. Strange. Little mala. 
Joffia. So click this arrow to get the capital letter. Joffia. Poslední věc. Poslední věc. Ní, I'm gonna guess. Věc. Could be a long way. Yep, that's what it is. Poslední, last. Thing. Poslední. E. Mark. Accented there. Last. Not asked, but last. And that's feminine singular. Final is also last. Poslední. Lasta. Laska. So it's interesting that posledni has a different appear, a suffix that appears different. It's not, instead of the long a ah, we've seen throughout, an e on this adjective, but it's the value is still feminine. So we call it a different exponent of the same marker, different surface form of what's underlyingly the same meaning. Další Katarina. Další Katarina. Další. Další. Katarina. Katarina. Další Katarina. Another Další. Další Jena. Dal modified S is a sh. E is long. Z modified Z and A. Další Jena. Zvláštní Jena. Zvláštní. That's the difficult. Zvláštní. Strange. Strange woman. Poslední věc. Poslední. The last thing. Věc V modified. E and a C. Excuse me. Alright, so not too unpleasant, but a lot I don't know. I'm just seeing this course really for the first time these last 45 days whenever I've touched on it. Any chats yet? No? Welcome, leave a message, ask me any questions you've got. <laughs> and let us now turn to Korean. I want to beef up my Korean course progress. Adjectives is our topic. 길이 높습니다. Nopda means to be low, I believe. The street 높습니다. is low. The opposite. Nopayo. The street is high. Like 넓습니다. 바다가 넓습니다. The ocean is wide, spacious. The ocean is vast. Wide, vast. 넓다. 방이 춥습니다. 방이, the room, 춥습니다. It's cold. 장소가 낮습니다. 장소가 낮습니다. This one means low. The 장소, the place is low. 낮습니다. 저의 방이 좁습니다. 저의 방이 좁습니다. 좁다. Help. 좋아. That's interesting that it sounds like to be good. Help. 좁습니다. Narrow. Oh, 좁. That's right. 저의, my room. 저의 방이 좁습니다. Is small of a room. But basically means narrow. 한국이 덥습니다. 한국이 덥습니다. Korea is the country, not the language. Popda. 한국이 덥습니다. Right, tepid is my mnemonic for it, my mnemonic device. Doesn't quite mean the same thing. It has to do with temperature. 장소가 덥습니다. 장소가. All right, gotta switch to my Korean keyboard. L, J, K, L. Korean there. 장소가 덥습니다. 
J-A-N-G, Jang So Ga is the subject, the place. 장소가 덥습니다. D-E-O B Sum S-E-U-B N-E D-A That's The place is hot. 집이 좁습니다. 집이 좁습니다. The house is small. Narrow. 방이 아니. 넓습니다. 방이 넓습니다. The room is spacious. Big. 저는 덥습니다. 저는 덥습니다. I am hot. 학교가 춥습니다. 학교가 춥습니다. The school is cold. And note that we're seeing ga and e. 학교가. The ends of our subject phrases. They're the same, again, same, ex, uh, different exponents of what's really the same marker for subject. Ga, if your noun ends in a vowel. E, if it ends in a consonant. 길이 넓습니다. 길이, so the noun 길 ends in a consonant, we get E. The road is wide. 길이 좁습니다. Same one. 길이 좁습니다. The road is narrow. The mountain, 산이 높, 높습니다. 산 ends in a consonant. That's the word for mountain. The subject marker is going to be E, 산이. We have a nice sequence, consonant vowel, C, V, C, V. Is high. The root is 높, N, O, and an aspirated P. We put a capital here. 숨, the usual ending, 니다. 높습니다. The school is low, not submit a school. Hak gyo. So, gyo ends in a vowel sound. We'll put ga and not e. It's low, not da, right? Not submit a. N A J for the root. And the usual ending, b becomes a m when n follows. Hak gyo ga, not. So it's going to sound like not submit a, I think. Let's go back to check. Check on check. Let me leave you for a couple seconds while I refresh my coffee. Here's some more language learning needs. <laughs> Using the tools of linguistics and what you see today, but very early steps in the check. For you, what it looks like when I learn using the lingo. Let's go to next. Year. Denstrom. Klug. Boy. Doom. Denstrom. Audio is a bit funny. Dobrý člověk. Dobrý is good. Člověk. Like the word for man. Person. Člověk. In Russian. Člověk. Interesting cluster. Čl at the beginning of the word. Dobrý člověk. I don't have anything quite like that in English. So this is a good person. And I'm going to use keyboard from now on. Malý kluk. Malý. Malý. Small boy is the meaning. All right, thank you, friend. Back up here. To be singular. It does seem interesting. Maybe let's review hello a little bit. No. It looks like it means no. Good evening. So, dobry vecher. Vecher is Russian. What's oh, evening? Vecher. Dobry. So it looks like a neuter now, I think. With a long Y suffix. Dobry. Vecher. Modified C. Vecher. Oh, and the thank you part. Jinkui. Ano, dobrý den. Dobrý. Hear the length of the final vowel. Den. Good day. Yes, hello. Ne. Ne, no. Again. Ano, dobrý večer. Ano, dobrý. Večer. Č. Dobrý den. Dobrý den. Hello. Literally good day. Dobrý den, děkuji. Děkuji. Hello, thanks. Dobrý večer. 
Děkuji. Dobrý večer. Děk... What's the spelling? The E is modified. Děkuji. Děkuji. That E shape. And now let's go to the verb to be. Ano, jsem Žofie. Ano, jsem Žofie. Sim. Yes, I am Žofie. Já jsem Matěj. That's really cool. Já jsem. Já is I. I am Matěj. Matěj. Já jsem Matěj. Jsem Matěj. I am a child. Sim. Sim. Dítě. Ano, já jsem Matěj. Ano, já jsem Matěj. Ano, yes, I am Matěj. Gonna be the check form of the name Matthew. Ano, já jsem Matěj. Já jsem Kateřina. Já jsem Kateřina. Ne, já jsem Matěj. So I think what the accent on the E here is showing us is that it's a J. So this one has a J at the start and the end of the syllable. Matěj. Já jsem... And then it's dítě, two modified vowels, long e, and the pre-palatalized ye. Dítě. Jsi hezká. Jsi hezká. You are nice. Hezká. Pretty. Jsi hezká. You are pretty. Ty jsi velký. Ty jsi velký. Velký. Big. So the word order, you are big, and in English we'll put, to make it a yes, no question, are you big? Tu si tu. So we hear the value of that Y. Ti si velký. Ti. It's, well, it's like a ti. You are František. Tu si František. Ti si Jofia. Tu si Jofia. You are Jofia. Are you big? Tu si velký. What gender is the adjective there? Ty si František. Ty si František. You are, and that's a name, František. I'm just going to put plain letters in the English one. Ty si. Uh -huh. It's velký. With a long Y letter. You are a woman. Ty si. J-S-I. Jena. We don't need a word for a. I'm going to drop the pronoun to see. To slovo je nové. To slovo je nové. The something is new. The word is new. Slovo. That word. Or just the. To je ono. To je ono. That is him. Ono. That's it. Ono. To je ono. Yeah, ono. That is it. Ona je Katerina a on je Matěj. Ona je Katerina a on je. Oh, okay. A is and. She is Katerina. Katerina. And on je Matej. He is Matej. It is a different word. On different. Jiný slovo. No? 
človek. It is. Okay, so... I think it's this one with an unusual word order. Is that different word? Instead of having the subject first, we've got the verb first in this one. That's interesting. Ano, to je ono. Ano, to je ono. Yes, that is him. That is ono, it. That's it. He is handsome on je. Is it hel? Hezky. Easy K long Y. On your Hezky. She is Katajina. On the. Oops. Yeah. Katajina. Uh, he on is yeah Matye. Matěj je špatný, ale František je jiný. You're just joining, we're doing some Czech language right now. And switch to Korean in a little bit. Matěj je špatný, ale František je jiný. Matěj je špatný. Špatný. Ale František je jiný. Matěj je bad. Ale is probably going to be bad. Špatný. Ale. František is jiný, different. Jiný. Ne, ty nejsi kluk. Nejsi, all right. Ne, ty nejsi kluk. You are not clever? Kluk. Boy. No, you are not a boy. Yikes. To není město. To není město. That is not... Město. Ah, město, the city. That is not a city. Nejsem dítě. Nejsem, I am not dítě, child. Are you not a girl? Holka. Ty nejsi holka. So we see that the negative word is fusing with the form of to be. To give a single word, not be. Kind of like Korean. Nejsem stroj. Nejsem. So ne... And isem are the two parts. There's more than that, really, if we break this verb form down to root and ending. Nejsem stroj. Stroj. I'm going to use the word back. Nejsem. Nejsem. Stroj. stroj. Okay, that's what it sounds like. What does it mean? I am not a machine. Stroj machine. Cool word. Stroj machine. Don't know the gender yet. I am not a man. Nesem. Oh, let's use a keyboard. Muj. Nesem muj. Let's just do that. M U J. He is not a man, but a boy. On. Neye. Muj. Ale. It's a boy. Kluk, yeah. Interesting. To neni muž. Why is it not neje? Hm. He is not a man but a boy. Neni. And to, pointing word, that. That is not. He is not a man. To, neni. Long vowel, yes. Muj. Ale. Boy is kluk. To neni, muj, ale kluk. Thank mm -hmm. you.
the two. All right, still position three. Just another 40 points to go on that. Skip back over to Korea. Padaga is the ocean, the sea is Toropta. Toropta, warm. Toropta. Dirty, yum. Toropta, dirty. So both starting with a D. 여자가 날씬합니다. 여자가 날씬합니다. Weathery. 날씬합니다. The reason I say that is 날씨 without this N means the weather. Totally different word. 날씬합니다. Then the woman is slender. Tega tungtungamnida. Tega tungtungamnida. The dog is. Tungtungamnida. Plump. Aiga kekutamnida. Kekut. This one means. Dirty? No, clean rather. 깨끗합니다. The child, 아이가. Remember, 가 marks the subject if the noun ends in a vowel sound. The child is clean. 깨끗. We have these two tense consonants with a double letter. 깨끗합니다. 깨끗. 방이 깨끗합니다. 방이, the room is clean. So, 방, B-A-N-G. Ends with an ng consonant, so we put e for the subject. Kekut. You can type either kk or gg, it's the same thing. Eus. Hab. Nita. Kekutamnita. Bangi kekutamnita. Kekutamnita. Oh, the bread is what we want. Bangi kekutamnita. Hard to tell. So that one with a tense b at the beginning. Which has a double B letter. 남자의 고양이가 귀엽습니다. 귀엽. 남자의 남자의 the man's possessive 고양이가 cat subject 귀엽습니다. 귀엽습니다 is cute. And let's copy this one for the sentence structure. It'll be clear that this is Korean, but just for thoroughness, we transliterate first. Nam ja man we nam ja e ko yang ni ga kui up sum ni da fui kui yop and the ending there sum ni da so this this uh, Roman romanization system we're using is called RR, it's sort of a compromise between representation of the spelling and the sound. We've got a P here at the end of this syllable, but in context it'll sound like an M, so we write M. All right, so it's man possessive, cat subject, and then B cute. And so let's, I like to use brackets to show the constituent structure. This whole phrase, up to koyangiga, is a, that string of words is a phrase with two nouns in it. The head noun is the cat, and this one is a modifier, that, a noun phrase modifier within a larger noun phrase. All right, so we have a small chunk that is nouny within a slightly larger chunk. They're not parallel, one is within the other, is my point. I'm trying to show the, whole, the meaning of the whole thing. Man's cat is cute. It's not that man is a participant in any way. All he does is, the, is possess the cat. So, to, for the, from the point of view of the verb, the, this man now might as well not be there. It doesn't make any difference. 가수가 예쁩니다. 가수가, the singer, subject. 예쁩니다 is beautiful. 여자들이 아름답습니다. 여자들이, the women, specifically marked plural with this 둘, 아름답습니다. 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 아름답습니다
아름답습니다. 여자들이 아름답습니다. This one I don't know. Women are 아름답다. 아름답습니다. So I suspect 아름 might be a noun that gets incorporated. Let me look this up. Grab that and add. So the da is what we add to get what we call the dictionary form, which is how you will look up a verb. Perhaps from al alum privateness. Tap that be as. So nobody really knows for sure. It's usually connected to old Korean atolum. Atolum. Which occurs once. Hapax legomenon. Cognate with aritapta. Namjanen kiga jaksumida. Kiga jaksumida. Okay. Namjanen could be man or men. Let's put men. Are kiga such that their height is small. So we can just say short in English. 아이들이 귀엽습니다. 아이들이 the children 귀엽 귀엽 귀엽습니다. So it's got to be plural. Children are cute. <웃음> 저는 뚱뚱합니다. 저는 뚱뚱합니다. I am fat. <웃음> 산이 아름답습니다. 산이 아름답습니다. The mountain could be plural as well. It's beautiful. 자동차가 더럽습니다. 더럽다 is to be dirty. 자동차가 the car is dirty. 저는 날씬합니다. 저는 날씬합니다. I am so kind. 날씬합니다. Thin. I'm thin. 날씬. Let's look that up. 날씬하다. Nal, N-A-L, and then a tense S with a double letter, Shin. For here. Maybe we should find a Nal Shida. Shin Hada, let's just add Hada to it. Oh, there it's suggesting it. There is such a page. Slim, slim, slender, lean, svelte. So it's a hara verb. It's got the usual inflection. I would be interested to know the origin of this, but we don't have it here, alas. 여자는 키가 큽니다. 키가 큽니다. Here's the root for being big. 큽니다. The woman is such, could be plural also, that her height is large. At the moment, we can say the woman is tall. 빵이 깨끗합니다. 빵이, it's that. 빵이 깨끗합니다. The lack of aspiration shows that it's a tense one. Double letter. 빵이 깨끗합. Hab, will become hum, nida in this environment. 빵이 깨끗합니다. The bread is dirty. Clean. <laughs> Dirty. Torapta torapsumnida. Always confusing those. Hello, learning Korean too. Oh, how lovely. This one's from Chinese, being kind. This word. And anything that is loaned, that is borrowed, any words borrowed from Chinese, in order to make to use them as verbs in Korean, we've got to add this ha root here. Aidul, explicitly plural. The children. Chinjolhamnida are kind. 
똑똑합니다. What are they, what are they say? It means I am clever. 남자가 이상합니다. 남자가 the man. Subject. 이상합니다. Is strange. 학생들이 바쁩니다. 학생들이 바쁩니다. The students are busy. 저는 착합니다. 저는 착, 착합니다. 착하다. 착합니다. Yeah, that's it. So, 저는 I am nice. 여자아이가 영리합니다. 여자아이가 Thanks. Well, <clears throat> I speak oh, maybe five or so well. Studying 30 plus on Duolingo at the moment. Grammar points, yeah. So let me just mention Lango Institute, the school where I teach, whose website we're on, whose account we're on. Uh, the, the main language that we teach is actually Korean. I've been studying it most of the last two years, somewhat intensely. Written a couple books now on Korean vocab. The grammar, I don't know, I'm far from knowing everything, but seen quite a bit of it so far and some of it I even understand and might be able to explain yo ja ai ga the female child so the girl yongri hamnida what's that yongri yongri hamnida looks like it's from chinese yongri let's look it up y e o n g and another good resource if you're studying Korean is this Naver Dictionary, N-A-V-E-R. It will show you the Hanja. Profit. Oops, I want that link. Okay, smart. Oh, I don't know these guys at all. Clever, bright, intelligent. How interesting. Totally new ones for me. Where does this come from? How fascinating. So it's been in Chinese a few centuries at least, I guess, if it's got... Oh yeah, quite a while. It's in several dialects and also barred into Japanese and Korean, this term. I'm going to make a note of it because I've never seen it before. Just grab my pen here. So, person radical there, and ling is the phonetic, and another person radical with phonetic li. Excuse the delay there. Okay, let's get back to Duolingo. Girl is clever. There's that one again. 사람은 영리합니다. So this one's just the person or the people. Clever. 사람. 사람은 영리합니다. 은 topic marker. 영리. 합니다. 사람은 영리합니다. 아이가 게으릅니다. 게으릅니다. What's this? The child is. 게으릅니다. 게으릅니다. 게으름. 게으릅니다 is lazy. <웃음> 여자아이가 착합니다. 착합니다 is kind. 여자아이가 the girl is kind. 남자가 친절합니다. 남자가 친절합니다. The man is kind. 
This was a, just a Chinese derived word for kind. And the other one, chakada, is native Korean, I think. 남자가 똑똑합니다. 남자가, the man. 똑똑합니다 is clever. 사람은 영리합니다. 사람은 people are 영리, also smart. 학생이 게으릅니다. 학생이 게으릅니다. The student, or could be plural, is lazy. Women are stra strange. Women, 여자. We can make it plural. 둘. 이. 이상합니다. 이상. That's Chinese origin. 합니다. 여자들이 이상합니다. Or we could say 여자들은 with a topic marker instead of subject. Always plus. Students are busy. 학생들이 바쁩니다. 바쁩니다. 학생들이 바쁩니다. 아이들이 피곤합니다. 피곤 아이들이 the children 피곤합니다. Also from Chinese, are exhausted or tired. 아이들이 기쁩니다. 아이들이 기쁩니다. The children 기쁘다. 기쁩니다. 기쁩니다. Are glad. So, sounds a little bit like that word 기분, for mood. 기쁩니다. 동물들은 아픕니다. 동물들은 아픕니다. 아프다 is like to be in pain. 아픕니다. Ill, 아픕니다. 동물들, the animals, plural, are ill. 아픕니다, 아프다. 저는 아픕니다. 저는 아픕니다. I am ill. 저는 아픕니다. 저는 topic. 아. Capital P for the aspirate in this system. P would be the root. 아프. We had a B. 니다 for the ending. So it's two syllables plus this coda. 학교는 지루합니다. 학교는 지루합니다. It's 지루. The school is... 지루합니다. School is boring. Probably very 지루. Let's look this up. J I G R U. 지루. Excuse me. Causing boredom. Does not yet have that entry. Let's go to neighbor. A horse. <laughs> Probably not the same. Where did he want? 저는 슬픕니다. 저는 슬픕니다. 슬프다. I am sad. 저는 행복합니다. 저는 행복합니다. I am happy. 개가 슬픕니다. 개가 슬픕니다. The dog is sad. 영화가 지루합니다. 영화가 the movie 지루합니다. It's boring. 여자의 개가 아픕니다. 여자의 개가 the woman's dog. All one big noun phrase. Dog 아픕니다. Is ill. 저는 피곤합니다. 저는 I 피곤합니다. I'm tired. 고양이가 행복합니다. 고양이가 nice. 얘가 행복합니다. 얘가 the cat is happy. 
Uh, so Korean is one of the main languages that we teach at Lango Institute. Let's see, programs. Do, 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 do. And we've got a new term starting one week for today. Taught, we teach them online mostly now, a few in-person ones. But I encourage you to get in touch with us if you're interested in learning Korean. Lisa, our Korean teacher, is a native speaker. Native speaker of both English and Korean. So she's, well, she has a PhD in linguistics too, and she's very good at explaining and teaching group classes. So I encourage you to check us out here. Here's our website, languinstitute.com. We've got books and also a blog and a podcast, all kinds of stuff too. 가수가 행복합니다. 가수가, the singer, 행복합니다, is happy. Great, super. Yeah, let's, do you want to do, let's, let's do some Japanese next here. Nice thing about Korean, uh, going to Japanese from Korean, is they share a lot of vocab, if you know how to look for it, and their grammar is really, really similar between the two languages. Let's get a taste here next. The people are glad. People, plural. Sa, ram, person. Dul makes it plural. E, I'm saying they're glad. Hang book. Hang book. Hap, ni, da. Hang book, ham, ni, da. School is boring. Hak, kyo, nun. So boring, it was chiru, ham, ni, da. Chiru. The thing that makes Japanese harder is you have to master three writing systems, which sounds daunting. The two phonetic ones work on the same principles. Then you have to master the kanji, hanja, Chinese characters. But those can be broken down and explained. And we'll see a little bit of what that looks like here. So this tsangji input is how I like to retrieve Chinese characters when I need them. So it's a two-step process for inputting Japanese that I'm using here. And I'll show you. Mostly we're, of course, transferring things to English in Duolingo. Family is our current unit. Sorry, let's look at this one. Mostly we've got phonetic writing, these really, one, the ones with the really Ga. curvy lines. And then interspersed, we've got kanji. Generally, they're marking nouns and verbs and that kind of, kind of thing. So, it is word for word. He, topic. おにいさん means elder brothers. Ga, subject marker. Sanin, three people. They exist. We will say he has three older brothers. 兄弟はいますか? 兄弟, general term, and this is the same expression as Korean 兄弟. 兄弟は, topic, いますか? It really is asking, do siblings exist? But we would say, do you have brothers or sisters? Siblings. 彼女たちは姉妹です。Tachi, plural marker, 彼女たち, they, female. She my this this older sister younger sister they are sisters. Karera wa kyoudai desu. Kyoudai again Hyongje. Karera wa they are. Kanojo no onei san wa kouko sei desu. Kanojo no that woman's possessive onei san older often big so shorter big sister. Ko, so wa for the topic. Onei-san. Works just like nun in Korean. Ko, ko, se. High school student. This means to be. Is a high school student. 
。彼らは兄弟です。Now I'm gonna retrieve Japanese. 彼らは兄弟です。兄弟。The meaning is that they are brothers. And I need three kanji to write it. First, kare, h-o. That shows me the left side of the kanji I want. And it's gonna be d-h-e on the right. That's it. And then kyo dai, kyo is r-h-u. And dai is predicted there. Those are my kanji. And I take this over to this phonetic input. Kare ra wa written ha. Kyo dai de su. So this is pretty much, this gives you a flavor of how Japanese is written. The kanji for stable meanings in nouns and verbs primarily, names too. And then endings and such, grammatical markers are written with phonetics. Phonetic signs called kana. They are brothers. 彼らは兄弟です。兄弟です。彼のお兄さんは中学生です。彼のお兄さんは中学生です。彼のお兄さんは his, old, his big brother. 中学生です。is a middle school student. 彼女のお兄さんは小学5年生です。A nice string of five kanji in a row. 彼女の her, お兄さん、big brother. は、he's the topic. 小学5年生です。彼女のお兄さんは小学5年生です。Nice long compound. And it's describing what he is, what he does. And we start with the largest unit of a thing first. So it's the small, so elementary school. That's the biggest unit. The next unit is the fifth year students. So we might say, is a fifth grader in English. And leave the elementary school unmentioned because it's understood. 兄弟ですか兄弟ですか There's no subject, but I'm going to guess that it's you. Are you? 兄弟 brothers or siblings. 私たちは姉妹です。私たち、we, は for the topic marker. 姉妹です。we are sisters. 彼のお姉さんは大学生です。彼の、his, お姉さん、big sister. 大学生。I think in Korean too we can say, てはくせん。Corresponds exactly to this. It's big school student means college student. Is a college or university student. 彼女たちは姉妹ですか彼女たちは Just they, it's female. Are they sisters? 彼らは兄弟ですか彼らは兄弟ですか Are they brothers? 彼らは学生です。彼らは学生です。They are students. 彼女はお姉さんが4人います。彼女はお姉さんが4人います。This has a nice structure. Let's look at it. 彼らは。So first I'm going to transliterate. 彼,彼女 rather, は。That's an outphrase. That's what our sentence is about. I guess I don't need to bracket it in both places. That's nouny. O is an honorific prefix. Ne e san ga subject marker. Yonin. Imas. They exist in the quantity of four people. Imasu, these last three there, is the verb. And let's do a translation now. She, top for topic. Onesan, big sis. Subject marker. Four people. Imasu, exist. In English we'll say she has, with this verb possession. Four big sisters. Four older sisters, yeah. I'll go a little bit longer, but ask me any questions you've got in the chat, please. About Japanese, Korean, or just language learning in general. 
or any of these ones that we're looking at here. Let's see, where were we in the crane? Did we finish the circle? We did, a new topic. Maybe I'll finish this Japanese one. See where we are time-wise. Yeah, plenty of ground left to cover here in Japanese. Ryoshin. Ryoshin, the two dear ones, two parents. Uh, my parents. Ryoshin. 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 There it is. Ryoshin. Child. Are your parents well? Or if you translate, how are they? Dare. Dare. Kare. Kare. Ryoshin. Ryoshin. Ane. 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 Kodomo. Kodomo. So listen for the up and down steps of the pitch in a Japanese word. Sometimes it'll distinguish words, but it's just a good detail to master too. これはあなたのですか? あなたの belonging to you. これは this thing, topic. Is it such that it belongs to you? We say, is this yours in English? Kodomo. Kodomo. Dare. 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 Ani. Ani. Big brother. Kanojo. Kanojo. リョウシン。リョウシン、私のリョウシンは東京出身です。私のリョウシンは、parents、topic。東京出身です。And uh, Korean has this compound too. 出身 it be, It's pronounced Chulshin. Talking about your place of birth. My parents are from Tokyo. あなたのお姉さんは何年生ですか? あなたのお姉さんは何年生ですか? What are your お姉さん? Your big sister. What year student is she? Is the meaning. Let's retrieve the kanji first. あなたのお姉さんは? Actually, that one is hard to get. Because it's a special Japanese form. Where is my input box for kanji? Not quite what I want. Uh, let me leave you with my past self for a moment. Klug is German. It's spelled a little differently, but the sound is like the German word for clever. Klug. That's going to be in my mnemonic. Clever boy. Hesky malistrom. Hesky malistrom. Hesky Malistrom. Mali, I remember the spelling. Mali. Hesky Mali Strom. Strom. Pretty small tree. Hesky pretty. Boy, Kluk. Big Velki. Velki. Big person. Person. Schla. Something big was Velki. Velki. And let's just check the spelling for the word person. Schlovjek with this special accented letter E. Cool. Okay, a little challenging. I think I'm going to back up and review some earlier units. Oh, yeah. Welcome. Let's see. What do we got here? Prime loot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hi, everyone. And what languages? You are most interested in here. And by. Okay, cool. Eight days. So this is the weekend. Well, it's Monday now, but it's been 
incredibly cold here. I don't need to tell you. If you're watching this live, you know. If you're in the U.S., if you're watching this later on YouTube, that's when this is taking place. Uh, I've been without internet most of today, which is why I'm doing it in the evening now. Hello. Good evening. It's going to have a dobri, but they all do. Vecher. Jinkui. That's the one. Jinkui. It comes from German, I think. Thank, thank you, buddy. So, um, we are stuck getting this complicated kanji. For big sister, if I were to input it directly in this system. Okay, so, a woman is V, then it's got Y, L, B, but it doesn't have that here. Because this one is really just used for Japanese. So let me get the correct form of this character, which is also a little tricky. It's got an L and then an N. Nope. V maybe? Fooey. Gonna be a D. May. Oh boy. Okay, there's also a phonetic input. Let me get one of those. Z-I-M-E-I -I is the word for sisters, and it's this first one I'm after. I don't know how it's input in the CJ system. We'll find out. So Wiktionary here is going to be helpful in finding the Japanese one. There it is. And tell me how to input. V-L-X for difficult. X is a special key here. VLXH. Let's see if that works. L for the downward stroke. X because it's hard. And then H for the stroke that we end on, the one coming leftward. That's it. It's the traditional Chinese character. Here I want the Japanese simplified form looks like this. Nansei is what we have to write next. Nan is O M N R. Nen is O Q. Se H Q M. Deska, the rest is written phonetically. Anata no. Anata no. Anata no one san wa nan nensei deska? Ne e sa n wa spelled ha. Nan nen se de su ka. So it can take a little bit, but you'll get there eventually. Thank you for joining us. Let me know any questions you've got regarding languages, language learning, linguistics, and grammar. Kare no kodomo wa gakko ni imasu. Kare no kodomo wa gakko ni imasu. Imasu, when you're parsing a Japanese sentence that you're seeing for the first time, it's good to look at the verb to know what's going on. The verb's always going to be at the end. Exist in a place. If you're a living thing, we'll say imas. All right, so who's involved in this sentence? Kare no kodomo. His children. That's our topic. Gakko ni is what's left over. means at school. So we'll say they are at school. Ryoshin wa nihon ni sunde imas. Sunde imas, a longer verb, two-parter are residing who parents topic in japan so since no possessor is named i'm assuming it's talking about self my parents live reside in japan Kodomotachi. Kodomotachi. specifically marked plural like that doodle -doo suffix in korean すみません。あなたは誰ですか? Excuse me. あなたは you topic. 誰ですか? Be who. Who are you? あなたのお姉さんは何年生ですか? あなたのお姉さんは is that one we input a while ago? 何年生ですか? What? Dear, what grade is? It's hard to find a good English match for this. What grade is your big sister in? Uh, Japanese literally says she is a what year student. Yeah. 
ご両親は英語が話せますかご両親は、As for your parents, 英語が、Mark subject, Is English such that they can speak it? Do your parent, can your parents speak English? It's even closer. This verb, hanasemas, has a real nice structure. Hanas is the root. We add a suffix, e, called potential. Then we have a formality marker, and u is the, is the ending, tells me it's non past and affirmative. And so the meaning is X can speak Y. 子供が6人います。And what's noteworthy there is we use two words in English, can speak, but in Japanese those are collapsed into a single word form. We have a root, and this suffix e means can. 子供が6人います。子供が6人います。にいます。N sound at the end of a word is a bit weaker. Ni imas, not ni ni mas. Kodomo ga. And this structure is quite different from English too. Ga, subject. Kodomo ga. Children. They imas. Imas exist in the number of six, in the amount of six people. So we could say there are six children. Go ryo shin wa doko desu ka? Go ryo shin wa doko desu ka? Where are you? Almost there on this one. Family. Kazoku. 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 Okasan. Okasan. お父さん。お父さん。彼女のお父さんは元気です。彼女の、her、お父さんは、father。元気です、as well。mother、お母さん。お母さん。my mother、It's written with the same kanji。here's read 母。母。お母さんはお元気ですか The fact that we're using Okasan says we're talking about someone else's mother, not one's own. Okasan wa o genki desu ka? How is your mother? Is she well? Chichi mo haha mo genki desu. Chichi mo. Also father. Haha mo. Also my mother. Genki desu. They are well. My parents, we can say, are well. Imoto. Younger sister. Imoto. 家族 family. 家族 Haha means my mother. Haha. 父 my father. 父弟 younger brother. 弟彼のお母さんは元気です。彼のお母さんは元気です。His mother is well. 子供子供彼女彼女 She. Haha my mother. Haha. 父 my father. 父家族、ファミリー。家族、父と母は大阪出身です。父と母は大阪出身です。Father and mother, my parents, are from 大阪。家族は何人いますか家族は何人いますか ?We need four kanji. 家族。JMPO? No, JMSO. Ka, zoku is y, s, o, and then it's the arrow, so o, k. Ka, zoku, wa, nani imasu ka? Ka, zoku, wa, nani imasu ka? Nani, o, m, n, r. Nin is just o. Those are my kanji, but then we need to add the phonetic ones. Ka, zoku, wa, topic, nani imasu ka? How many people in the family? お父さんはお元気ですかお父さんはお元気ですか Is your father well? 母は兄弟が10人います。10人います。母は my mother. 兄弟が as for siblings, 10人います。There are 
My mother has ten siblings. Could also mean brothers. Kazoku wa imasu ka? Kazoku wa imasu ka? Do you have a family? More literally, the Japanese sentence asks, does a family exist? Otoosan wa doko desu ka? Otoosan wa doko desu ka? Where is your father? Chichi wa kyoudai ga hachi ni imasu. My father has Chichi. has eight siblings. How is your family? Kazoku wa. So again, J M S O Y S O O K. Then we need Genki, and Ki is tricky because we need a special Japanese form. But anyway, Genki, Gen is MMU. Ki would be O N F D. That's the traditional form. Plop these in here and find the Japanese form for Ki, the spirit word. I didn't mean to put it there though, I want it in Wiktionary. Underneath the enclosure, we've got this, just this cross shape, little X. That's what we want. Genki. Kazoku wa o genki desu ka. Go kazoku wa. We can add an honorific prefix there too. Go. His mother. Kare no okasan. Let's get our kanji first. Okay, we have the gain key again. Let's leave that key. Kare no okasan. So kare, H O D H E. Okasan. The mother is W Y I. This kind. Oh, and we need gain as well. M M U. This guy. His mother, Kare no Okaa san. She's the topic, wa Genki desu. Nice. Okay, if you're just joining us, let me draw your attention to our website. Let's do it here too, where you can register for. Classes, we have a new term starting one week from today. It's a nine-week term that we do. We teach, aside from Korean and Japanese, we also have an English, Chinese, German, French, Spanish, Portuguese, and Italian. I think that's it right now. Langoinstitute.com, and you can find us across social media also under Lango Institute, at Lango Institute. So I'm going to do a bit more and then call it a day for the stream. So let me know if you've got any questions. I'm trying to keep an eye on the, on the chat here. Demonstratives, our next topic in Korean. Desk. Chexan means book bed. Kongwe. Kongwe. Building. Camera. Chexan. Chexan. Building. Kongwe. Kongwe. This chexan is big. This chexan is big. This desk, this E pointing to something close to myself. This desk is is big. Camera. Camera. This woman. 이 여자, this woman. 아이들이 저 건물로 달립니다. 아이들이 저 건물로 달립니다. Toward. 아이들이, the children. The verb 달립니다, they run. To that building, over there. 저 건물로, to that. 이것은 책상입니다. 
이것은 책상입니다. This thing is a desk. 저 카메라. 저 카메라. That camera over there. So we need a green keyboard. Yeah, here we go. 저 카메라. 저 카메라. 카 with an aspirate. 메라. Use a capital letter in this keyboard to get the aspirated letters. 저것은 집입니다. 저것은, 저것은 that thing 집입니다. Is a house. That is a house. 그 연필은 작습니다. 그 연필은 작습니다. That pencil by you. 연필 pencil is small. 그것은 재미없습니다. 그것은 재미없습니다. Interestingness is not present. That is boring. 저는 이것을 먹습니다. 저는 as for me, 이것을 this thing object 먹습니다. I eat this. 저 사람은 매력이 있습니다. 저 사람은 that person 매력이 charm 있습니다. is charming. That person is charming. That camera we could use either 그 or 저. Let's use 저. J-E-O. 저 space. 카메라는 topic is expensive. 비싼합니다. Right? P double S sun hapnita. 비쌉니다. It is a verb root. 비쌉니다. Silly me. That man reads that. 저 남자는 남자가 you also say that. 그것을 그 pointing 것 thing 을 object reads 일 읽음, 읽습니다. It'll be I L G S E U B. 읽습니다. 그 남자가 저것을 also another option. That camera is expensive. 비쌉니다. 저 카메라는 비쌉니다. 비싸니다. 비싸... Yeah, I think we'll wrap it up today with a little bit more Korean. Bathroom is Hwajang Shu. 식당. 식당, restaurant. 건물. Building, 건물. 화장실. 화장실, the makeup room. Restaurant, 식당. 식당. 호텔이 비쌉니다. 호텔이 비쌉니다. The hotel is expensive. 그것은 저쪽에 있습니다. 그것은 저쪽에 있습니다. That is there. Over there. 호텔은 거기에 있습니다. 거기에 있습니다. 호텔은 the hotel 거기에 is over there. is there. 화장실은 이쪽에 있습니다. Mm -hmm. 화장실은 in the bathroom 이쪽에 있습니다. is in this place. is here. 호텔은 거기에 있습니다. 호텔은 거기에 있습니다. 호텔은 은 거기에 있습니다. Let's check it again. 호텔은 거기에 있습니다. 거기에 있습니다. 식당이 여기에 있습니다. 식당이 여기에 있습니다. The restaurant subject marker 여기 here is here. 그쪽 그쪽 there. 여기, 거기, 저기. 
여기 거기 저기 here there over there 이것은 저쪽에 있습니다. 이것은 저쪽에 있습니다. This thing is over there. This is oh, weird. Why are we saying this then? 아, 저기 저기 over there. 저는 그쪽으로 갑니다. 저쪽으로 저는 I 갑니다. Go 그쪽은 there. That way. This way, that way, that way over there. You want to say 이쪽으로 from the 쪽으로? I guess so. 쪽에 This way. Let's do the short one. 이쪽에 이 J J O G Jok A That way K J J O G Jok A That way Cho J J O G A I Joge Kut Joge Chot Joge I Jok Kut Jok Chot Jok The restaurant Shiktangi 여기에 있습니다. The restaurant is here. 식당이 is here. 식당이 여기에 있습니다. 여기에 있습니다. 침대. 침대. 가방. 가방. 침대는 음식입니다. 침대는 음식입니다. Means the bed is food. For some, perhaps. 나무. 나무. 저는 저편으로 갑니다. 편으로 갑니다. I go. Over there. 이 편, 그 편, 저 편. 이 편, 그 편, 저 편. Here, there, over there. 이만큼, 그만큼, 저만큼. 만큼. This much. 이만큼. Yeah. This much, that much, that much. Like 가수가 방에서 가방을 던집니다. 가수가 the singer 방에서 in the room. 가방을 던집니다. Hmm. What does he do to the bag in the room? 던집니다. Throws. 던지다. Bag in the room, maybe into. 이만큼, 그만큼, 저만큼. 이만큼, 이만큼, 이만. K E U M. 그만. 금, 저, 만, 금. 나무. 나무, 트리. 이 편, 그 편, 저 편. 이 편, 그 편, 저 편. 사이. 이 편. This side. That side. That. Over there. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching. See you on the next stream. Should be tomorrow.